1423 Start with Pathfinder Kingmaker. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, go. Go. Need to change this. Sure, it definitely goes through. There we go. Apparently, apparently, press any key did not extend to the mouse. Load. I forgot I'd taken to calling my um my campaigns on CRPGs lately tip nuggets. Oh god. We should gather our strength. So what's this we're dealing with? Fatigue, we should probably sleep. If possible. Um Can't rest here. Oh, lovely. First, our house on hunting tools. Rubbish seems unlikely to be helpful in a battle. It's some disgusting slush in the pot. See, in all nature, it seems to be tar. Ooh, spill time in the training post entrance to help slow down the bandits. Yep. Gloopy gloopy. Potatoes. Three. Just three in the sack. Uh. Three in the sack. Oh my. That's some fun times. Must be splotchy of tar. Oh, if only I had someone who used fire magic. Oh, it's a little sheep. Oh, little sheep. Little sheep do sheep things. It does look like so far, but... Oh, look, we made it clean. It even has a new roof. Ooh, nice. It does look like that um, the tar was the only thing that it um, gave me to help. Oh, you're back. You're back. A frail, disheveled old man wears a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Bokken, local herbalist. What brings you here? I need your help fighting the bandits. Where is this coming from? Will you want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that may help you in your fight. I could kill like wounds. Okay. Don't worry about yourself. What's that to tell? I'm a herbalist. Make potions and sell them. Gather herbs, roots, berries. Oh, I live in the forest, live off the land. Since leaving Rostov for these parts, I ended up a merchant here at Oleg and Svetlana's post. They let me in out of kindness, help me with things. They bring me water or firewood when it's cold, and occasional barrel of honey. They're good people. Always up. Time becomes distance. Well, let's get things started. Oleg and Svetlana discussing something in low but impassioned whispers. You managed to make out the words forget about it before they stopped talking and turned to you. I gotta say you good. I just want to sell shirts I've been picking up. Yeah. 
and you've been up for so past. Um, that'll be me in three and a half hours from now. Boxing. Punch. Sixty gold. Yep. Let's get to the point. So the bandits going to second. Who are they and when will they arrive? Other ways his hand slowly. Who are they? They're the Stag Lords gang, that's who. These lands team with bandits like bedbugs in a beggar's hut. You just turn them up. They have a camp not far from here. Expect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The Stag Lord won't take an insult like this lightly, and his henchmen are more like demons than men. Uh, you have nothing to fear. We'll help you deal with, your, with the attack. Well, I appreciate your good intentions. I may not have the best manners, but like Levinson, his last name you'll hear being accused of being ungrateful. If we manage to defend this post, I'll reward you proper. Ooh, lawful good action. We have tied to Setlana. Please don't argue, Dove. Now we need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used for um, battle. There's some pretty solid traps around, some tire and a box alchemist fire, looks like. Alchemist fire, we can put it by the gate life of the burning arrow and those bandits nearby. Set the post on fire. Well, maybe if we cover the walls or something to protect them. All right, yes, I think it could work. Yeah, I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be pretty good with the crossbow back in the day. Well, that's. Yep, yeah, we're good. Fear not, I'll stand between you and this scum. You're under my protection. Thank you, Valerie. Let me flex their shoulders. Finally a fight. It's bored a lot of talking. Amiri, I, I forgot Amiri. Well, these aren't the heroics I was hoping to write about, but I guess even the greatest heroes have to start somewhere. I see you're easily cowed. Thank you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Svetlana, go hide inside. We're going to meet our guests. Charge! Long up oh, for fuck's sake, Valerie. Oh, there's more. Chinny just really can't do all that much. Oh. Eatums. Jesus Christ, Jinya. Serves you right. <laughs> Let us try one. 
Does damage. Mary, can you um perhaps <laughs> Jesus oh, Mary? Breathe heavily, but he shakes his fist in the air menacingly. You rats got what you deserve. Now I know better than treat honest people like cattle. We should go bocking out before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lady, head up onto the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. And this is your efforts. Now, don't defend me by trying to turn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If, it, if that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. Gold. Can I sell shit? No. We'll talk tomorrow. Oh, okay. Gonna be a little blood will take forever. I mean, it's fine. In fairness, that's the only bit of a, there's a lot of blood. Everyone else just burned. Step, step, step. That's what I there's a fight. We'll talk tomorrow once we finish working. What's in wait for me there? I Not my lucky day. Let's sleep a bit. Take everything. Potion of vanish, silver disc, silver ring, scroll of rail of fulfillment. Some of the pet cat. Okay. Okay, game. Oh, hey, would you look at that? It's some of the cat in real life as well. Okay. I'm gonna try and pick him up, but apparently no, he doesn't want to be picked up. Ah, oh, personal stash. Oh, I carry you. Stuff like this, aren't I? Right. Look in this. Okay, so I've got. So I use heavy armor. So does she. What's this? This is light armor. That's also light armor. You are wearing leather armor. Studded. Let's give you studded. It's better. You are wearing medium armor. Okay. Oh, it's close to resistance. That's one resistance burns on the same in the throws. Bonuses at the same time usually don't stack. Okay, you know what? There we go. I now have a cape. Chinya now has a cape. Ah, oh, snooze, snooze. You wake up from a nasty dream that tortured you all night, almost all night long. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out of the window, and you find out that the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream. And then... Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. Our transparent outline of a beautiful nymph appears before you. Even in this ghostly form, it's clear that she's exhausted. Her shoulders are slouched and her large blue eyes burn with the pale face. Her voice is barely more than a whisper as it reaches towards you. Seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Everyone else is fucking asleep. 
I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. Oop. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. The Stag Lord is responsible for the fog? Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to Good defeat boy. him. Oop. Use my capius. Use my capius. Use the best. Best capius, yes. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength Beans. to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. All right, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger, but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. Lim's whisper fades as she disappears. Oh. Oh. No threats in the location is a sort of headquarters where you can prepare your party for a new expedition. In such locations, companions don't follow you around or go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Once you exit this location, return to the global map. You're ready to choose your companions to which to take with you, leaving the others here. Whatever, whenever you meet a new companion but don't want to include a new party right away, that companion will travel to the location instead. Thank you. You can't pick locks. Betrayal me. Up and girl with tussled hair wearing a dusty traveler's outfit. She sits chewing the tip of a quill. Just a moment. How should I put this? Oh, I know. She says something quickly. The notebook scroll with verse raises her eyes, gives you a bright smile. Oh, hi. Jesus Christ, number five. What's the other ring you was wearing on your finger? Ah, oh, this? Lindsay holds her arm uh, for you to give you care of your thing. It was a gift for me to my first teacher. It's magical, imbued by the powers of Shailen, no less. When I get myself in trouble, it transports me to a safe spot. So, please don't be angry with me if I suddenly disappear from a fight. I wait for you here, promise. Let me have a look at your writing. 
What's that to tell? You've seen some of my rough drafts already, haven't you? It's a book you, about you and your adventures. I'm writing the whole truth just as it happened. Well, the whole artistic truth, you know. No glory, no story. So what kind of a character am I? Truth be told, I was a little afraid of meeting a real hero. It books are all protectors of the weak and poor. But what about in real life? You, but you ease all my fears with two shakes of the tail. You're a true heroine, just like in the legends. My new fear is that in a hundred years my readers will say that people like you never existed, but I'm writing the truth. You're like a force of nature, wild and unpredictable. You're full of surprises. I doubt I can make our protagonist like you, even if I tried very hard. Yeah, that's that describes Chinua. Something else? Um, have to go. Just don't leave without me. Of course, I could write whatever um, you tell me, but if I want to stay cooped up in the dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through lectures at the academy. The elf looks straight at you through the tangled hair falling over her face. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands? You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obviously she started the day with a jug of wine. Who are you? Elf grunts. An Oriel at eight eyes. Once upon a time, I was famous for answer Absalom, an Oriel eight eyes of the Reckless Six. Wow, well, glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later, and no one recognizes you on the street anymore. What a shame. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who need in need of help. We may be sitting here in a backwards tavern, but in Absalom I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts but shallow pockets. A little gold would be welcome in change for them. I can send them a message and they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign and we'll arrange everything right away. Also can summon the tutors from the Pathfinder Society. Who can retrain you and your companions? They're quite willing to do this for free the first three times you press their services. After that, the price for ret retraining will gradually increase, such as their way of doing business with all new clients. Would you like to join me? Uh, no, I've got enough things to do already. You better manage on your own. Go. Good day, I hope you're feeling all right after the battle. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I definitely don't want to waste your time, but if you have a moment, I have a request. What do you want to ask me? Svetlana looks ahead. This is a very personal request, and maybe not important enough for your time. I completely understand if you say no, but the first time the Stag Lord's thugs came here to mine money, they also took my wedding ring, just tore it off my hand. It's just a trinket, really, but it meant so much to me. I remember every moment of the day Ole came to me, that ring in hand, to ask if I'd marry him. I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing I'd misheard something, or I'd say something stupid and everyone around would laugh. Svetlana interrupts herself, shaking her head gently. If you happen to find my ring among the bandit's possessions, please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognise. My name is engraved inside the band. Setliner drops her eyes, lowering her voice. There is one more thing. Among the bandits, there is a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. But please, I beg you, show her mercy if you have the chance. I'd be happy to help. I'd be happy to help. i have to go. Bye. Is Mr. Oleki. Greetings! Oleki seems to be in a good mood and greets you warmly. You certainly ruffled those villains' feathers. Well, anyway, new day, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to rest of looks like somebody spilled milk and just hung in the air. I couldn't see anything for that soup, not even with a torch. It was like witchcraft to me. I bet the stag lord's involved somehow. Rumours say he deals with all kinds of bad magic. Show me your wares. Nothing's too good for such a good person. Two plated sword. Full plate, damn. I'll take all the gold. Why not as a
Welcome to the on the stage he examines the nearest wall. How hands his sleeves without turning to you. The old man finally says in a dull voice, You want some potions? Then what you have? A lot of potions. We're going to talk. Mary asks us where we're All right, spill time listening. That's a formidable sword. It's not just a simple weapon, is it? You bet it's not simple. Check out how big it is. She probably raises the blade and you notice that even though Mary is extremely strong, she still has difficulty wielding such a large sword. This all belongs to a real, a, blasted, a real blasted frost giant. Jesus Christ. I killed the beast and took this looker for myself. Fits me perfect. My damn trophy. Mary's eyes flash with menace as if she's challenging some invisible enemy to try taking away her trophy. Sure. Talking, talking. When we do some monster killing instead, Mary sighs and turns away. Dog! Can't interact with dog. No doge interaction. Do you have something to tell me? Um, need to take care of the Stag Lord. Do you need anything that could help me find him? It's quite a task you set yourself on. The Stag Lord is a fortress somewhere in the area. Only a few chosen from the most trusted of his note rabble are ever invited. The location of his fortress is a heavily guarded secret, and with this fog hanging around, I imagine it would be even harder to find. I suppose you could try to follow the trail of those bandits who attacked the post before. They came from the southwest, from the side of the Thorn River. Fortress might be there, or at least some large camp of theirs where you can find information. Speak on time, farewell. Locations on there. Oh, okay. So on the road, get ready. A jittery old man in squalid clothing shuffles up to you. His grey hair is unkempt. He continually clutches and clenches, un clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops, looks up at you. His eyes widen. He tugs at his beard. Strange weather, invisible fog creeping out of the woods, swords beyond the sky, obscures the sun and moon. Strange. The old man shakes his head, his eyes shifting about seemingly at random. Turn this old man. Looks like the kind who can cast the evil eye. Invisible fog, does that mean you can find your way through it? The fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. Fog is visible enough to me. I see more than ever. I've never seen so much before. The old man wipes his hand across his face and sighs wearily. But someone must look and no one else can. What are you doing here? The man rises the thick eye of a I do nothing. Breathe. Walk. Observe. Who are you? I went freezes for a moment. Remus. But that won't help with the fog. I should probably go. The old man says, you intend You hasten? You should. Your rival wastes no time. He raises bit in another direction. He searches for power. He'll find it. My rival? Do you mean Tatuccio? 
Oh, man, sorry, he's busy again. He's not tall, but he wants to climb high. Beside him are those who can stand against him and yet and might yet still. What power is he searching for? Someone else's. Old but forever young. That which was taken from another. That which gave joy and now gives death. Or oh, isn't on the linger. Farewell. Turn your back to the trading post and look south. There's an ancient tomb. Look for him there. The old man turns and walks away slowly, muttering softly. Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, bound with the claimer it shall be. Bound, merged, joined by unspeakable times. Claiming the land, claiming its plain, claiming its death. Hey. Thanks, Remus. There's, um, that was a thing. Oh, let's continue. Oh, um, let's go this way. And then now. The void. Hey. Evade. The ancient tomb. Oh, this is cozy. Search from chaos, gold, things, and can't ring. Step, step, step. The gnome in gaudy purple garb saves your attention. Of course, the scoundrel Tastuccio, who knew Noon from time and rest of. Vile gnome standing, standing on a small hill, expressing his discontentment to everywhere he can muster. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian! Why hurry? The same end awaits us all. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. <laughs> I remember. I remember like Quickly Jekyll. now, if we don't find that artifact <clears throat> soon, someone else might seize it. Someone <coughs> standing over there watching you right now, you fools! <sighs> Jekyll, isn't Tartuccio's arrogance long past what you can suffer? I can find far better use for a companion such as you. Yeah, I'll see you for a brief moment. Then not silently, she draws her weapon and I start to chew coldly. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of her enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Well, attack of opportunity and now down. This is where I step in. They go down! Well, he's done. <laughs> Oh my god. Onwards. Let the attack commence. <laughs> Is all this blood mine? Never thought I had that much. Jesus. Minus seven hit points. What the fuck? May I see your entrails, please? You deserved it. I wonder what lies behind. Ha! And done I go. Seen from afar that um, to be cracks in the stone, but it turns out to be a faded image of the sun. A green jackal skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. That's boring. This requires your attention. Time What's that? becomes distance. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. All this oh, mine. okay. Never thought I had that much. Really wasn't worth it.
Oh shit, yeah. Got it. Because of that, she needs to um, inflict um, wounds on herself to heal rather than cure. How sweet the first breath of fresh air after the stale st stuffiness of that tomb. Before a stretch and ending hell heath, replete with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the tale of Tartuccio and his companions have gone cold. But we not give up so easily whether the trail went cold or not is one we had to follow. No blade of grass was bent. It must have had enough time to straighten back up. Yet whoever last passed through, but the heat's dry earth preserved the prince's little shoes. Our eyes to the ground, we followed the trail. We walked and walked and finally we came to a huge gully. The dried up um, bed of your dried up bed of, bed of yeah, the dried up bed of a river of your. But what's this? At the edge, the grass was trampled down, and the soil turned up. And claw prints, lots of them. We stumbled upon a fresh battlefield. And here the trail split. One set of footprints walked away from the battlefield and down to the gully. The brave footprints that faced down the enemies followed the path along its edge. Do you want to find any traces of magic in the surroundings? And um, to go to the trail, to the spell apparently from the illusions to spell magic in the lonely trail to send to the gully. So the trail led down to the gully. To our surprise, to cover that the little shoe prints turned to little clawed footprints on their way to the gully. As if someone from Tatuccio's band was wearing shoes, and I took the form of awkward claws and jumped to the gully to avoid the battle. Down the path. Paths frequently used, and the dust we saw both sets of footprints together. It was clear that those who had new claws left the battle surrounded by those that did. So while I thought and followed the single set of footprints down to the gully. The way down was steep, and it took some time to reach the bottom. Walking on the loose soil was difficult, but the clawed footprints were easy to spot. The bottom of the gully went downhill, deeper and deeper. Finally, the footprints turned, whirled up in the steep slope, and disappeared in the gully's edge. We couldn't but admire the um, animal agility and clever claws of the creature who were following. The slope before us was as tall as about two men, and ended up as a hanging crest. Climbing such a slope would be no easier than climbing a sheer wall. However, a, lone, um, a long, steady-looking route stuck out to the group from the top. Mobility. There's one brave hero among us who tried to try luck and climb the brute. <laughs> After tugging on the route, Lindsay took a deep breath, grabbed it with both hands, and began the difficult ascent. Pushing with her feet against the slope and grabbing the route with both her hands, she climbed higher and higher. Only her heavy breathing and the faint creaking of the route broke delay broke the deadly silence. Suddenly, the dust poured from the top of the slope, and the root began to slide from the ground. Keeping her wits, Lindsay shifted her weight to her legs and froze. After a tense moment, she continued her journey, and soon reached the top of the slope. After catching her breath, she lay on the ground and offered her hand to help one next to us up. After climbing out of the gully, one by one, we easily fought, found the clawed footprints again and moved forward. The air grew tense. We sensed we were approaching our target, and our intuition, intuition proved correct. to me. A dragon, huge, sparkling, flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. A great relic that will win the kobold's glory is hidden somewhere nearby. Enough of this pitiful existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. He speaks in a suspiciously familiar voice of, no of the gnome Tatuccio. Dragon, glory, dragon, the voice of kobolds rises in excitement. We know the, mi the mites under the old sycamore, the pays this the magic treasure, very ascent. Stop deceiving these poor reptiles, Tatuccio. to her lies. I shall bring you to glory. Just help me find the relic and stop this trickster. Oh, that's a lot of kobolds. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. You got 18.
Oh, I need to fight two of them. Okay. Because the rest are just running. Any last wishes? Print on the ground near the empty chest. It looks like another chest the same size recently sat beside this one. Nothing I can do here. Okay. Once we move. Can't be claimed. Oh, okay. What's up? Greetings. Guest and Gareth, the former captain of Jumanji Aldori's personal guards, not you as though you've seen each other in rest of only yesterday. He limps noticeably, but his clothes are stained with blood. His very beard is um, grim and focused when you first meet, but this time you also see a hint of excitement in his eyes. I have urgent news from Restov. The investigation that I have conducted at Lady Jumanji's orders have proved your innocence. Hey. Cartuccio was and still is the Pataxian spy. That dreadful night, it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Yerovetti is no stranger to intrigue, and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Anyway, Lady Jamande sends her apologies. We almost had Tartuccio cornered when this damned mist fell. First we entirely lost our way, and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. My people can barely stand, so I would be grateful if you would help us capture this Tartuccio. He must be somewhere nearby. Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. The Sword Lords will remember this favor. What can Pataxian spies hope to find the stolen lands? Pataxian spies are much like magpies. They'll grab anything that catches their eye. Information, treasure, artifacts. This time, King Yerovetti had a chance to seize the entire stolen lands region, and at the Aldori's expense. I'll give you some advice for the future. Be wary of the Pataxian king. He's truly a snake of a man. I'll see you later. Farewell. See you guessing dead or alive. Cowardly traitors, sons of Pike, return the relic. Coward, turn, Ilic. Silly, silly kobolds. Go look your relic, um, your relic, your dungeon. Look under bed, under table. Ha <laughs> ha, silly kobolds have no bed and no table. Search your eggs. You lose relic and blame might. Accuse queen. Lies. Chief Scale, not silly. Kobold leader shakes his weapon at the insult. Lies, Chief Scale. Kobold cries diligently, copies the words and gestures of the chief, swinging his weapon. Seems both groups are but a breath away from battle. 
So warlike, it's like a miniature version of the Taladan Imperial Chronicles. What's going on here? Little Mike jumps in place. Stranger, stranger, you see, yes, silly kobold attack might insult us, our magnificent queen. Lies, might thief, steal relic from kobold. We revenge, help us, stranger. Kobold, tell me all about what happened. I, chief, I name Soot Scale. Kobold and Might here, live here long. Live peace, but now Might Thief steal our relic. Thief, teal, Elec. How do you know the relic was stolen by the Mites? Might Trixie, but Chief Soot Scale is more Trixie. I call. New shame in come. Chief Tartuk, Oku stole relic. Tartuk, good. Tartuk, ood, ood. Death of Relic Stars. And so again to be the judge. Plants and to, and to weigh and balance trivium, decade upon decade. Where is this shaman Tartuk now? I don't know, he's not really kobold, he deceived you. So scale, not stupid, he, we know real kobold. Pass out the chest, rejects the insult. And where is the shaman Tartuk now? Shaman was dungeon, did not enter sacred hall, might collapse our entrance, kobold wrath might. What is this relic? Relic key, kobold take relic, enter sacred hall. Did you really attack the mites? Revenge. Might coward. Kobold come. Might run. We come. Take them. Take them. Relic. Go. Let them give back our relic. We give back there. It's clear to me now. Might just want to hear, ask you a few questions. Small, well, the small might bows comically. I sense your vagik. Here our magnificent warrior queen Badah. He points to the large companion adorned with the hide of a wolf. Queen defeats scary wolf battle. Vanquish hundred enemies. Claim charm hundred hearts. Queen Badah allows you to speak her. May sit. We understand. He says generously. Legs tremble when see such beauty. My queen, why did you fight the kobolds? My queen shakes her head sadly. We live here long, kobolds and mites. We live peace, friends, trade. Together hunt good shaggy animal, gut it sweet. Long ago, chief kobold and our old king make good alliance. Two branch old sycamore we take, charm and give to each other. This be relic. Kobold have one, might have one. Not long ago, kobold come, yell we thief, take our relic, silly kobold. Silly <laughs> kobolds. I love it. Why did the kobolds think the relic was stolen by the mites? Kobold chief said the ugly old. Sanchez and other mites giggle at the, uh, these words. He lose last mind to listen to shaman Tartuk. Shaman not so ugly. But that smacks the lips in approval. But angry chicks, he say wicked might. I catch him and make crown from his scale. Pretty crown purple. Do you know where this purple scaled shaman is now? He prowled dungeon near our house. We see he won but not catch. Won't find shaman look underground. Why do you need the relic? Two relic, the A key, give entrance to Sacred Hall. There and old Sycamore, one key for Kobold, one key for Might. Each can go hall, all fair. I'll know more questions. Not we calling a Strange good, fight Kobold with me. Wind come to my chamber, we make feast, play music, throw knife in furry squirrel. Sweet. Oh! God! I think I just got propositioned. Just throwing a knife into the furry squirrel sounds very much like an innuendo. Should we make peace and search for the relics together? Never. Death to traitors. My swings on the beam. We know retreat. Choose a sports ranger or enemy us all. I hear my companion's advice. Why sports either? They think they'll leave us to you. Let us battle these little ones. Both groups will be done with it. It's up to you. We should remember that living among such creatures could be dangerous. The kobolds are mites are aggressive, poorly organized, and unreliable. It's better to exile them or not interfere, lest we're entangled in their unworthy deeds. You're all disgusted. I don't want to help either of you. Let's free the lands of these dangerous creatures. Protect Queen. Kobold fight, hold strange. I go with my shame in Tartuk. So they're beefing each other up. I'll carve my name into your flesh. Oh God. Wretched things.
is where I step in. Lot of cobalts. Morning, girl. <laughs> it's not exactly during combat character, you can like, probably see an opponent is flat footed. And throughout the normally it's a situation a flat footed character loses it, so both team ones. The damage. it wrong. The spell is flawed. <laughs> Despicable. Deserved it. Why not? 
Jesus. Last wishes. They go down. One way of doing it. Do not falter. Unworthy. Oh. Oh. Death Wish has not done a friggin' thing. Serves you right. Bring it. Stay behind me. Die, die, die. Okay. Christ. Is on death's door. On death's door? At death's door. I shot Lindsay. Mm -hmm. 
What the What the fuck? Tassel worms. Okay. Okay. All I see is And I'm in negative hit points again. Because you know, orc. Things. There we go. I can't keep this up much longer. Us against what? Oh. Oh. It's not going at all well. Shh. <laughs> 
Jesus. Nada. Oh. Do not falter. Serves you right. May I see your entrails, please? Can I rest here? She can. Boop. Interesting. J 